Hey everybody, I'm Timmy Ray with Drop Zone Hunting. I uh, just want to do a quick one year update on the Coyote Caddy. If you haven't seen the first video, look it up. Uh, but I had some questions about the box that we're running now on top and some other uh, upgrades we've done in the last year since we've been using the Cadillac. First thing I want to talk about is the siren box on the front. What we use that for is uh, locating coyotes on some new fields. Uh, pick these up Amazon. You can also pick them up every now and then at a, at a scrap yard or a junkyard on a, a wreck, you know, a rescue vehicle or something like that. So if you pick one up cheap, it's a good add-on. Uh, we'll go inside and take a look at the siren box and the light bar box that we put in. All right, we're inside the caddy. Just wanted to show you real quick how I mounted everything. These are the original light bar and IR lights. I uh, didn't like that because when I'm driving between the steering wheel, I can't really see the lights on sometimes. Uh, but we'll start with the siren box. Uh, like I said, you pick these up on Amazon. This was a one den CD player. Pop that out, did just a little modification with a grinder on this uh, face plate, and that slid right in. Easy wired, hot negative, and it's actually speaker wire running from here to the siren. Uh, works, works extremely great if you're going to locate some coyotes on some uh, fresh dirt. You just want to find them and not, not to hunt them. Got this off of Amazon, it's a little four switch. Uh, light bar and IR light setup. So I got my light bar on. I like that because when I'm driving right here, I can see both both wood lights are left on when I'm driving down the road. And then my IR lights, of course, you can't see those, but if I know they see that red light on, I know I'm riding around with my IRs. Uh, PA system really not needed. It just comes with it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back and we'll show you what we did in the back as an upgrade. All right, we're at the back of the Cadillac to show you a couple quick things we've added over the uh, past year. You see the red light on, that's just a dome light. All we do is switch out the factory white with a red. It stays on for about 10 minutes and it shuts off. I kind of like it because it lights up our little tripod holders. So we're grabbing tripods out and you know pitch black dark in a field and putting them back in. No extra uh, buttons to push there. Uh, what I did change, if you remember from the first video, I had two whites and two red circular brake lights and backup lights from Amazon. They hung down about an inch. <clears throat> we were throwing packs in and stuff and, and they were hanging up and hitting on them, uh, ripping them off the double-sided tape. So got back on Amazon, found 24 inch strip lighting. Uh, and what I did is I mounted uh, each one of them to the plexiglass and then mounted the whole thing up to the bottom of our rack and we'll get a close-up of that in just a moment but again another one of these boxes the uh, switch on is red works great in the middle of the night and then if we got to work on something or end of the night we're, we're getting gear separated to whose vehicle is going to go to we turn on the big lights uh, another thing we did over here where I had the toggle switch before I uh, added this Harbor Freight glove holder which is great uh, we used to keep them in, you know, we always keep them in our chest rigs or we kept them in the box and it was trying to find one. If we have somebody hunting with us, I say, hey, run back to the truck, grab some gloves. They know exactly where to go grab them at. Uh, so that's a good investment right there for things. Of course, you know, we always got to keep the honey buns on board. The good luck charm. Uh, we're going to talk about the rack next and uh, get you close up on the uh, plexiglass real quick. We're at the back of the caddy. I want to show you the, the rack and what we uh, added to it. Uh, first off, I got a grab handle right here. I added, and then this off of Amazon, which is a, just a step, bolt it through and through. That's why the panel's off inside right now. And it's washered uh, so we can step up on there. Reason why we did that is when we first got it, me and Chance back here, we're throwing dogs up, right? Well, we're adrenaline pumping after we just killed one. They were literally landing on the hood down the side hitting the mirrors we were missing the whole box so came up with this this uh ideal got a grab handle right here step right here he can hand you the dog you can bring it up this way or we turn around step right here partner hands you the dog 
You throw them straight up here on top of the rack. This is a uh, all aluminum rack. Uh, I had it custom made by a welder here locally. I believe it's 76 long, uh, 40 something wide. And uh, when I initially had it built, it, it was up about this, uh, probably about four inches higher, and I'll show that to you. He did. He, he built this the way I asked him to build it, but it didn't fit the truck the height wise. So I actually cut it down myself. And all I did was take that top piece and slide it here, put some rivets all the way around it, and it's more uh, aesthetically pleasing to the Cadillac driving down the road in a real high box. And this box, I'll tell you, probably hold you know a good 15 dogs or better. Uh, if you watched the first video, we had the swing rack on the back here absolutely loved it it is a uh, great investment you know for four or five dogs uh, easy pin removal throw it open get to our back of the vehicle so nothing against the swing rack i i still have it and, I, and it's a great investment but when you're talking about trying to kill 10 or 15 dogs in a two-night tournament it just wasn't going to hold it with this rack and a rack on the front so we had that build plus uh, dogs are hidden most of the time when we're riding up there, so we're not trying to offend nobody out here. So let's go up top and we'll take a look at the interior of this box real quick. Okay. Alright, we're up inside the rack, guys. If you look right here around the edges, I don't know if you guys can see any of that, but uh, that's about how much I took off right there. It was that much higher. Like I said, it just didn't look right. Uh, what we got here is I built this little screen right here. Two by fours and some Predator wire. And uh, the first time we took this out, we didn't have it. We threw a couple dogs in here. By the end of the night, we went to get them out and they were you know, either gut shot, bleeding out, uh, fluids everywhere, and it was all over the dog. So the concept behind the Predator wires, we throw them up here. All the fluids go, you know, stay down two inches below the dog while we're riding around all night. And uh, when we get ready to get rid of them, they're not, you know, soaking nasty of uh, bodily fluids. Uh, it does turn into a trash can once in a while, you can see. But uh, that's where we're at. We'll show you real quick this drain plug right here. Um, this is the uh, a, just a sink faucet drain. This was the original one when I told the welder I needed a drain in here. He put it right here. It's about an inch and a half high. Problem with that is you got to have an inch and a half of nastiness in here to get it out. So just took a uh, sink drain, drilled me a hole. Ran me a three-quarter inch pipe up to it, siliconed all the way around it. Uh, of course, it comes down to an elbow here. Uh, pipe clamped it to the plastic, and this is a ball valve. Uh, right now, it's closed. What I do when we come come in at night, we've, we've had some dogs in here. I'll throw some bleach in, drive around the shop a couple times, let it swish around. Next day, I'll come out, spray it down with uh, water, uh, and just open up the drain plug. I don't know if you'll be able to see this but uh the first time i did this of course i opened up the valve and went all down the side of the truck so to fix that we just add us a little 18 inch extension here and it allows all the nastiness to get away from the truck and into the grass and uh, again just take this off throw it in the box and we're back at it i think we all could use an extra couple of inches that's right all right